Does it look like a perfect line for you? I doubt it, but let's zoom out. Much better. So, what did we just do? We, if you can be safe, so blurred out all those little irregularities that don't really matter for the big picture, to get a proper result for our scale. This was an abstract example of renormalization. A technique which eliminates all small and fast degrees of freedom and replaces them with the effective term for our description. Now, let's do it for Higgs boson mass. In simple words, this term over here describes the particle getting absorbed and remitted at the same exact spot. But is it actually so? It can actually go here or there or create new things, which will also create new things. But as long as it happens on a scale as small as that we, what we call the Kato scale, we don't really care. We just add terms for each of the possibilities to get an effective mass in this description. And that's it. It's like one giant problem. Let's make Kato scale really, really small, like Planck scale small. That would give us a contribution of order 10 to the 38 or so, but Higgs mass is like 125 GeV. And if you're a rational thinking man, you may ask, what the heck happened here? That could only be if all those numbers cancel each other to 35 digits precisely. But how and why? It's so spontaneous, so random, so natural. It's like getting millions and millions of those imperfect lines, placing them randomly together and getting Mona Lisa in the end. And I'm not even a painter. This is called hierarchy problem or fine tuning problem. One possible solution to this was supersymmetry. The idea is simple. We have two types of particles, fermions and bosons, and fermions have negative contribution to mass, while bosons have positive. Supersymmetry says for each particle there is another with roughly the same mass but different type. Like that, by doubling the number of particles, we get a mechanism that explains this constellation. And they would live happily ever after. Except for one small problem. Absolutely no evidence at all. Even so, LHC can look pretty close right now, scientists still can't find any proofs for the theory. So slowly they start abandoning the idea and just moving on. So, what does it mean? Well, either there is a reason for such constellation, which we still don't know, or which hides on even smaller scales, or the universe is just amazingly good at... Playing Sudoku.